why won't I trust Jesus? Yeah. Why? Why is that? And then the answer walked by the door. My father looked at me, and he smiled because he was so happy I was studying to be a good Muslim. Oh, boy. How could I break his heart? Yeah. You know, my father had um, yeah. gone through a lot for us, yeah. a lot. Right. He laid his life on the line. This is not, he literally laid his life on the line for the economic well-being of my family. Mm. You know, how do you betray someone like that? Oh. How do you take everything that they've done mm. to build you up yeah. in their mind and then be proud of you as a son and say, I'm going to turn on um, the most fundamental beliefs that you hold dear? Right. How do you do that? Right. Well, the way you do that is you realize that no matter how much sacrifice he's done for me, mm. for someone who loves him yes. and who can give him a return, yes. Christ did infinitely more Amen. for someone who is his enemy. Amen. Uh, Paul is talking about this kind of love, yes. this kind of self-giving love. Mm. And he says that we know that God loves us in this, that while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for the ungodly. While we were yet his enemies. Mm. You know, Islam doesn't preach that you die for your enemies. Right. But Christianity, in, not even Christianity, Christ embodied mm. is the highest ethic. He is the highest, um, he's the personification of what it means to actually love something purely. Yes. And that's what he does, that's what he did. So the, the answer, how can you actually turn your back on years of tradition and a family who sacrificed for you? There's two answers for that. Someone else sacrificed infinitely more yes. than anyone else in your family ever did. Yes. For you and for them. So you don't turn your back on them. Amen. You're not. When you come to faith in Christ, you are not turning your back on your family. You're telling them you have a need that Christ and Christ alone can fulfill. Amen. And so when I realized that, yeah. I laid down my burden, and God made me a son from a son. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord.